Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 28th of September 1928, the bacteriologist Alexander Fleming laid the foundation for a revolution in modern medicine when he discovered the world's first antibiotic. Penicillin, which Fleming originally referred to as mold juice, was initially met with little attention or enthusiasm by the medical establishment. However, the early 1940s saw research by Howard Florey and Ernst Boris Shane at the Radcliffe Infirmary in Oxford, who raised the profile of the drug and began mass marketing and mass producing to treat Allied casualties in the Second World War. Fleming was always very modest about his contribution to the development of penicillin and often referred to what he called the Fleming myth surrounding the drug. However, as the first person to identify the antibiotic properties of the active substance, Fleming earned the right to name it. He had made the discovery after returning to his laboratory after a family holiday, where he found that a Petri dish containing a type of bacteria had been contaminated with an unidentified fungus. The bacteria around the fungus had been destroyed, whereas bacteria that was further away had survived. It said that it was at this point that he uttered the famous words, that's funny, and began investigating the fungus. Over time, Fleming identified that the fungus came from the genus Penicillium, and laboratory tests indicated that it could be used to destroy a variety of disease-causing bacteria. However, despite his best efforts, Fleming was never able to cultivate the fungus in any significant quantity or isolate the active ingredient. The work of subsequent scientists was therefore vital to the development of the antibiotic, although without Fleming, there wouldn't have been any fungus to investigate. 